So you want to know about the Holy Spirit? Well, everything you need to know is right here in the Bible. Does the Bible know about current fashion trends? Bible fashion. Uh, I meant know everything about the Holy Spirit. The Bible's got the best stuff. Battles, miracles, explosions. Not sure about explosions. Poetry. Yes. Basketball. Not so much basketball. But again, if you want to know about the Holy Spirit, let's look at the Gospel of Matthew and the Book of Acts. Bible study. So the Romans are like an opposing force, right? And they thought they were winners because they had killed Jesus. But God is always winning. God wins. After he arose, Jesus appeared to his disciples. Wait, this all really happened? Jesus came back to life? Absolutely. Yup, which is why he ate with them. And let them touch him to show them he wasn't a dream. Man, Jesus thought of everything. But he also told them that while he was gone, they shouldn't just sit around and hang out. They had a job to do. But like the best job ever, they're gonna get to go all around and tell everyone about Jesus and all the amazing stuff he did. Really? Everyone? Jesus told the disciples their job was to invite others to become his disciples too. Tell everybody. A few humans trying to tell the world about Jesus? That sounds impossible. It's not impossible if you've got help. The, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Jesus never planned for them to do it alone. He would send the Holy Spirit to help them. The Holy Spirit is God. Wait, isn't God God and Jesus God? They are. And so is the Holy Spirit. All three are God. Jesus told them only the Father knows exactly when he would be back to rule the earth. He started to float. He went all the way up into the clouds and back into heaven. Pro. He would have been great at basketball. So the disciples are just staring up into the sky. And then, twist, two angels show up and tell them to stop staring at the clouds. The angel said, just like Jesus went up to heaven, one day he will come back down. After that, the disciples returned to Jerusalem and waited for the Holy Spirit. They knew they couldn't win alone. And guess what? Neither can we. And that's why. Jesus didn't promise the Holy Spirit to just his disciples on the mountain. He promises to send the Holy Spirit to everyone who believes in him. And Jesus gave us that job too, of sharing his story with others. He promised to send the Holy Spirit so all of his followers can have help.